A very good day to you and welcome to Shalom. Welcome to the farm. Welcome to Snowy. He's having a bit of a sleep here on his feet. I'm just so looking forward to sharing with you just for a few minutes. You can see we totally relaxed because the rain is falling out of the sky. Nice, gentle, heavy drizzle turning in, into rain hopefully after this program. Folks, I'm totally rested at the moment. I want to speak to you about being too busy. Too busy. It's a very, very big problem. We go to Mark chapter 6 and verse 31. This is Jesus speaking. And he said to them, Come aside by yourselves to a deserted place and rest a while. For there were many coming and going, and they did not even have time to eat. Verse 32, so they departed to a deserted place in a boat by themselves. That's, why, that's what I love about Jesus Christ so much. You know, folks, you see how concerned he was for his disciples. No one else said that. It was only him. Come aside. Come and rest a while. Maybe God's saying that to you, madam, to you, sir. Maybe you need to just come aside. You say, Angus, I can't afford to. Maybe you can't afford not to. You see, what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world and he loses his soul? Mark chapter 8, verse 36. The devil has one thing on his mind. I'm telling you, I know because I've been there. He wants to get you on that treadmill and he wants you to keep going as fast as you can and as long as you can until you die. I spoke to a very dear friend on the phone the other day. I haven't spoken to him for many, many years. And we got speaking and I said, I'm sorry, I haven't seen you for a while and I've been so busy. <laughs> That's right. And he said the same. Angus, man, I just often think about you and I'd just love to be with you, but I've been so busy. And we were talking about this busyness, this treadmill that we, we're all running on in this life. And he said he looked up the meaning of busyness in the Chinese language. And busyness has got two meanings. The one meaning is heart. And the other meaning is annihilation, to be totally destroyed. Heart, annihilation. That equals the word busyness in the Chinese language. So when you get too busy, what happens? Your heart dies. You get so busy, see, that you come out of that shop and you've got an old man there and he's been looking after your motor car so that no one steals it. He's called a car guard in South Africa. You don't ignore him. As you get into your car, you take out um, a, a, a few dollars or whatever it is, and you give it to him as a gift. You start up the ignition, and you just reverse that car right out the way. You don't even greet him. You don't say, hello, sir. You don't look at his face. You don't even know what he looks like. You're so busy. Well, that's a major problem, folks, because that man might want to chat to you about something. Maybe eternal life. No, but I'm too busy, Angus. I'm preparing a sermon for Sunday. Whoa, folks. And that old gentleman just wanted to say hello to you. That's all. Didn't want anything else. That young waitress that comes, she's a, she's a university student. She's trying to make a few, a few uh, rand just to see herself through the studies. You're so busy with your business deal that involves millions this young girl, all she needs from you is just maybe 50 bucks just to see her through. But you forget because you're too busy. And you get up and you nod and you walk out. Big mistake. God does not like that. I want you to know that. That little child that's standing by to greet you. It's happened in my own life. Got to get you on the stage, Angus. The men are waiting for you. You've got to speak to them. This little boy just wants his photograph taken with Uncle Angus. God forbid that I walk past him. Because I reckon if I walk past that boy, I'll have nothing to say when I get on that stage. We need to be careful we don't get too busy. Till next time, goodbye. For more information, please visit angusbucken.com.